So today we came to Lynn, Missouri to uh, go over details and kind of get a better look at the project that we're going to be doing this semester. We're in a, uh, a class that kind of is a, a dual purpose class. So we have a classroom setting and there's a, a group project side to it. So we came to the town of Lynn to get details from our, uh, our project champion, Bill Turner, to uh, make sure that we fully understand the project, make sure that we're fully connected on all the things that we need to incorporate in this project, and make sure that we can do the best job on the project that we can. Service learning is, you have academic learning, so it's not just service, it has some component, typically in the classroom, where you're learning something. And then the next component is students use what they've learned in the classroom to provide a service. As a small community that we are, we're pretty tight on budget. So anything that can help us with ideas to help us develop projects, give us ideas, pointers how to go, especially with young students with minds like they have, and uh, I think is a beneficial to the city and to the city council to help them make decisions. I feel that it's very important that the university is here to help make the lives of the communities better. And so that's why this class is very important to me. Alianzas was created back in 2001 between the partnership of MU Extension and UMKC to address the needs of the Latinos moving into our state. And I love how we were so preventive. Like, for example, from 2001 to 2010, there was an increase of 79.1 percentage of Latinos moving to our state. Project Alianzas is really um, a cultural broker. They really bring the cultural intelligence to our work. Their director, Hardo Martinez, he is a valuable contributor on our grassroots advocacy committee. He really brings a wealth of resources and advisement to help us do valuable, informed, cultural, competent work. So one of the greatest goals of Alianzas is integration. So to integrate every single Missourian to be part of the community where they live, where they reside. So Alianzas is a Spanish word for alliances. So I envision to have about four campuses working more together and reaching out. Grazing schools are two and three day workshops taught by the University of Missouri with uh, NRCS. They're schools that teach producers how to manage their pastures better. Well, for Missouri, we are the gold standard in grazing schools, I feel like. And, you know, that partnership between the university and the Natural Resources Conservation Service has been there for over 30 years and that working together. And I think that we all bring things to the table uh, the university brings the research and the data and we bring the application with the producers and, and our concerns for that natural resource base. When you take a large field and subdivide it into small paddocks, you increase the amount of forage that's produced. 22% is the lowest number I've seen, but about 30%. If you add up all that 30% from these farms, that's 30% more beef production in our state. And that, that brings in to our state about $125 million every year. So that's rewarding to me. <laughs> Most of entrepreneurship is for us getting out of the classroom. So we have great courses, we have great clubs, but how to get students in the ecosystem? And so by partnering with Ameren, we get to engage in a way that gets students out of the classroom, they get to intern and actually learn by doing. And I think that's what differentiates us. You know, the University of Missouri St. Louis University system is, is a terrific partner for so many reasons. Number one, you know, they have incredible expertise within the university in so many different ways, but especially in the energy space, but also in the innovation space which is really important because this is a combination of both. The second thing, you know, this is a university that's committed to the community. And so what we're doing here is a commitment to our customers and the community that we both collectively serve. See, this is a unique public-private partnership. It isn't just about innovative energy solutions, but we're introducing students to the energy space. We're introducing students to innovation. When you put those things together, 
You know, it's great for the energy sector. They have students engaged in this thing, but it's great for the community to have students engaged with innovation. It's a win-win for everybody. The University of Missouri St. Louis is a great partner for so many uh, companies here, not just in from their employee point of view, but also in partnering like today with Ameren on the Ameren Umsel Accelerator program. This helps us attract and retain talent to our entire region. And if it were not for Umsel, I don't think that would be happening.